In this animation, the amygdala is one of those areas of the limbic system which is involved in emotions and drives. Specifically, the amygdala can be involved in emotions such as fear, anxiety, and aggression. Anatomically, if one wanted to observe the amygdala, say on this frontal or coronal section of the brain, one would choose a section which contains the mammillary bodies of the hypothalamus, um, where uh, you could observe the amygdala. If you chose an area more, a section more dorsal to this, you would observe the hippocampus, which is behind or dorsal to the amygdala. The amygdala uh, is within the parahippocampal gyrus and contains a set of nuclei, including some which are part of the cerebral cortex. These cortical nuclei possess paleocortex, that more primitive type of cortex which only has three layers of cells, as opposed to the more advanced neocortex with six layers of cells. The amygdala is also important in memory consolidation, uh, converting things uh, from short-term memory into long-term memory. And because it not only is involved in memory formation, but also things like smell and emotions of, say, fear and anxiety, the um, uh, things which trigger a strong olfactory uh, sensations can be linked to memory, as can things which uh, make us anxious or afraid. Serotonin is one of the major neurotransmitters which is active in the amygdala. And so variations in serotonin receptors, serotonin reuptake channels, and changes in expression in these proteins are important then in personality and in our perceptions of fear and anxiety.